so far through the day um i believe we're four in one this absent list if it's not it's five in one all right this is a pretty solid hand we hit, we had some removal spells or i'm sorry we hit some lands here and uh we can curve out real good one two three four solid hand let's go ahead and keep it start off on the 30 minute inspector and look at this look who it is the general is in go ahead we, we could have played the planes and said humans but or instead of saying humans uh but so uh, withhold information for one extra turn that's okay are we playing mono black there's our land drop Are we, are we playing mono black they're probably gonna uh remove the aspirant so we're gonna put the counter on three but inspector they'll probably move okay i'm gonna say they'll probably do it before combat all right we expected this so let's go ahead and go ahead and get in one more land in our hand is completely open and we can play everything in our hand what will they do okay we're gonna eat creatures it's a solid card. The Trespasser, really good. Um, we're going to shock this in. And we're going to take that from them. Um, I'm going to discard Dauntless Bodyguard here. Now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have done this at all. Um, I should have just played the Adeline. Try to push him over. Do I want to discard? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to discard. You can have it. We can always uh, flip the Brutal Cathar later. Now that I think about it, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have played that line. There's another one. We can double block here and not lose both of our creatures, though. Um... He does have first strike on the backside, so we're just going to take it if they do swing. Okay. No blocks. All right. So now we can actually do something even better than our last turn. We're going to go ahead and play out of line, and then I'm going to protect it with the bodyguard. Uh, we're still not going to attack here. We're just kind of getting bigger than them at the moment. Kind of stolen the board up. We got a lot that we can do here now. Uh, if it wasn't for that ward ability, man, we could have been in. I, I completely forgot about ward. Yet again, graveyard trespasser catching me off guard. This is what happens when you take off, take off a couple years of playing standard and stuff and they bring out these new cards. You haven't played them in a long time. Sure. I don't see him attacking here but that doesn't mean that he's not going to attack he might try to force action okay. um, I'm gonna take a block on one because it is free and we'll just take the other three And fatal push, uh, we'll activate this. He needed double fatal push there. Okay. This guy does not have death touch yet. Okay, as it when he plays that. Okay. So he's got a bunch of one twos. I think what we're just going to do is we're going to play Kudro here. Start eating, keeping the graveyard kind of empty. Uh, let's go ahead and eat this.
he's definitely going to trade with this uh so let's just go ahead and we're going to swing with our three inspector and i think i'm okay throwing away brutal cathar now we'll swing at the brutal cathar as well so we also get the two two here he does graveyard okay he did not block okay no blocks play to land so he gave away the fact that he doesn't have a removal spell question is what does he do now he's kind of in a bad spot here he can swing with the knight um we've got good blocks on everything and we'll just let the knight pass if he swings with knight by itself it's fine we're, we're not worried about it next turn i think we're just going to value collected company in the main phase try to push over uh get some values lieutenants and then just push him over death touch until the end of turn okay so he can activate that to remove a creature uh, we can also play thalia guardian of thraben and then um sacrifice the two uh tokens to destroy it uh i'm gonna play collected company and see if we can value through Yeah, Dauntless Bodyguard, perfect. Uh, we'll put Dauntless Bodyguard on our Adeline. We're going to swing with everything except Kudro. Uh, and the Mood Rage. Actually, he can block with that Graveyard Glutton fairly well against us. be honest with you um i might just not i'll just swing with adeline force him to use his mana i mean we lose the dauntless bodyguard because we don't have mana to we don't have mana unfortunately we don't have mana to, to sacrifice stuff to destroy whatever he's going to be trying to do uh this is going to make thalia's lieutenant a little bit bigger we already knew that he was going to make this play. Uh, I'm sure he's... I'm, I'm going to assume he's going to block the 10-6. The sure. Sure. Then activate this. Keeping that ad line around. Play to land. And taps out. We did see a couple a uh, couple graveyard interaction cards there um we saw a couple removal spells i feel like we're going to shave down a couple cards here um and bring in kind of the same that we've been doing we'll drop one one um adeline looks really good in that matchup uh, i'll go ahead and keep that in all of those Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to drop down one. Bring in the Kiteless. Kite Sail Freebooters. Uh, I'm thinking about dropping one Dauntless Bodyguard, but the thing is, it's like Dauntless Bodyguard and Kite Sail Freebooter kind of do the same thing. They sack, get a removal spell, Kite Sail Freebooter comes in and takes a removal spell, and then they have to use a removal spell to get their removal spell back. Um, so it takes two removal spells. I think actually I'm just okay with that. Three is fine. We don't need the fourth one. Uh, we had plenty of action there. Let's go ahead and keep it like that. Ouch. One lander. You know, we did this before and we pulled it off, but it was a, a white source, not a green black source. Um, we're going to have to mulligan this. That's not a not a hand we can keep. Same thing here.
This is not a hand that we want to keep. I think we can try this. We're probably going to lose here. Probably not in a good spot. One down to five. We need a lot of value. In this case, we need a lot of lands. Let's go down one more. Oh my God. We're getting, we're getting one landers back to back to back. I guess we'll keep this. Like it, uh, it's not, it's not getting any better. Keep the two drops, I guess, to try to get action going. We'll keep this. Uh, I guess I'm going to get rid of Kudro and, and Tireless Tracker to try to, you know, get into Collected Company. That's our way back into the game. We're, we're probably just dead on this one. We'll see what happens. Get a bunch of one-landers there. Tough, tough call. You, you got a mulligan down sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and put this in. One human. Um, I guess we'll try to make something work here. We'll put the aspirin into play. This is a makes it a two-two. He probably got fatal push and stuff in his hand too, so. our guy swinging in for five we are getting there let's try to get back into the game come on boys let's do it um put it on aspirin again now we have a blocker Shielded, okay. They are just putting the pressure on us. I think we got a block here so it doesn't get bigger. That card can get out of hand. Kudro. Okay. Um, Kudro gets us into the game if we sacrifice two cards, but we need five mana to do it all. I think we're just gonna play this. Oh. I feel like he's probably gonna try to kill Kudro. So we're gonna try to push over with Thalia's lieutenant next turn for five. This is this is a this is a close one. If we can get a land here, we might be able to get back in this game. We're holding on. We made it to where the attacks aren't that great. Okay. Uh, I think we just, I think we just got to take the seven. The, the thing is, is, is we play Thalia's Lieutenant next turn and then swing. We're going to swing for five, nine, and then we can sack the two to exile this. So we're going to take seven right now down to five and then take it again down to two. Uh, that's tough. We can put we can put everybody in front of Shieldred and he just does one and one and we lose everything. Take three. I'll force him to have the removal spell. I'll force him to have the removal spell. We can't really get out of this any in a, a really good scenario, so it is what it is. If we get a land here, then we can just collect a company and keep our way in. Glad I didn't double block on the Shieldred. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, they thought he was lieutenant. We're just gonna block here. We're gonna block children. We need a land. We need a land and a brutal Cathar off the top. Actually, we're dead. If he's. It, Okay, we're not straight dead now. We're still in a bad spot because this graveyard trespasser. 
You can't even target it. The discard cards to target it. We just throw it at Shieldred. You're down to two. We're going down to three. We need like the best collected company. We need a land. A land and the best collected company you've ever seen in your life. Uh, that wasn't it, so go ahead and concede that one. Mulligan down to five with one on one lander. We almost pulled it off. I think we can bring in a couple Valorous stances. Uh, seeing what they were playing. I think Thalia guarding a Thraben is not as good. Uh, it was a great first strike. But yeah, I don't. Bringing these in makes them cost more. And I also don't see them playing too much. They, they are playing a couple of removal spells that we're seeing, but it's not as, as, as important. We can also make our cards indestructible, so they kind of work in the same uh, realm. I think this is the way we're going we're gonna to run it back. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and try it out. See if we can get there. All right. Well, um, this isn't the the worst hand. We get, we have a two drop, three drop, three drop. Um, all of them are good. We have our four mana for when we draw a collected company. If we draw a collected company, um, we'll put Temple Garden in on the beginning, and then we'll kite sail and see if we can uh, see if we can get there. Dauntless is good. Our brutal Cathar is good. Um, and play this on human. They are right sail. Take whatever removal spell they have. We get to see what they have. Okay, graveyard, rankle, and dread wonder. Okay. Mm, they didn't have anything. Rankle's very interesting here. Um, I think we want to save. We can play. So they're going to get Rankle out. That's going to, we're going to be wanting to sack our 1-1 one -one to that. So we could probably play Kudro right now. And then just kind of keep things float with this. Be able to trade with most of their creatures. kind of opens us up to some removal but I mean, we can't dodge removal forever play the three drop we can actually brutal cathar next time and then get rid of the blanche loft branch loft ah, there it goes. what's up man how's it going brig Dog. crapola didn't draw any land we didn't draw a good card here on that one we draw another land need some cards here now let's put this in to play tap um, we're gonna go in for attacking so now if he plays rankle we can just sacrifice our own little one one not a huge deal we play murder strider got life link on it okay well, he, he's getting in there with some cards wow another land we did something different here. Um, we can send Adeline and he blocks. I actually don't know if I'm going to be, be, be playing in the next ladder season. I might be just be playing this to be completely honest with you. Double blocks here.
we can eat this card and then he can't kill our guy okay yep that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna put pressure on him I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do for next ladder season and I'm not 100% for sure what I'm doing just yet I haven't I haven't decided we've been playing a lot of uh, magic the gathering here recently this is the this is kind of like my home uh, I play a lot of magic in, in person I'm actually a Magic the Gathering judge, so this is kind of like my realm, you know? Um, so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do when it comes to in terms of uh, next ladder season. This is kind of a bad spot here because the gifted Aetherborn can block the 1-1 one -one and they just gain two life. So I think I might just swing with the Adeline just to kind of see if they'll block it get it off the board um, we can do this and then I need one more land so I can collect a company into another another spell I did I did it's been a it's been a minute since it happened, but I it did. I was uh, I was um, getting tired of it being the way it was, so we just kind of kind of shortened it up a little bit. All right, here he comes with his menace creature, or with his haste creature. Question now is, is does he make a sack? If he makes a sack, he has a sack too. Does he make it? Do we draw cards? What are we doing here? I think he would sack the Dread Wanderer because he can just bring it back. But I mean, I also can drop a 1 1 right now. All right. Ooh, collected company. This is what we wanted to see. He discarded his Trespasser. I'm very, very surprised there. If we can hit a Brutal Cathar off the top, I think we just straight win this. Oh, yes, Lieutenant would be really good. Let's collect a company right now. Oh, there we go. We got the Brutal Cathar. And then the both the other cards are the exact same. All right, so we'll get the both of these. Brutal Cathar is going to take uh, this. Uh, target creature we control. We're going to put it here. Uh, we're going to make some good blocks for this guy. And then we are going to get in here, 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 and that's it. I'm not going to give him back his other guy. Giving this guy the old boot. down to six is he gonna stay in though now this bodyguard is up now we got first strike on our moon rage brutes to be completely honest with you i think i'm not gonna play dauntless bodyguard on the fact that if I can get through right here if I can't win right here what I can do is I can make it to where next turn I'll be able to um, this is 7-4 we give him an 8-5 because that means he has to double block uh, I can actually not attack with these and when they flip if I play this I can take two cards from him So I think the best way to do it is like this and we're just gonna leave those guys back So we don't want to give him any of those cards back 
He's still in it. Uh, we're not playing King Darren in the deck. No. So he, he's going to do this and, and block out of line. Block here, okay. And block the one one. Okay. Down to three. So I guess I could have just swung out with everything instead of trying to play a little bit more conservatively. I don't think that he's going anywhere still because he has to block. Now he can't get out of it. Yeah, I think I just had him last turn. I, I, I think I was just being too cautious. There's no need to. The, the, this game looks like Hearthstone. Um, if you play MTG online, it looks like uh, something, a much older game. I'm going to play this. Uh, we'll put it on this guy. And then we're going to go to combat. And then... Uh, we'll make these three threes, I guess. Make this guy a three three. And then we'll just swing with all of them. So I don't think he can get out of this. And if he can get out of it, uh, he's definitely not getting out of it next turn. Because both of these uh, guys are going to flip next turn. It enters tapped. It entered tapped. <laughs> we got there. Yeah, I, I played conservative there. I, I didn't do the math. That was my bad. We could have had it at a turn earlier. All right, here we go. You know what? It's not very often that we get like a, a full house lands and collected companies this is the, probably not the way you should do this by the way for those for those watching at home these companies are collected today oh my god we're playing against freaking control are we playing against control? Are we seriously playing against control? I see blue white lands and I immediately I just go they're playing control. That's that's just kind of how it works. You play a blue white land, you're playing control deck. I would like to see them play like a green card or something like that and then start playing like enchantress, bant enchantress or something. Uh, you know what? I'm going to play. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to go human. We're going to play Kudro. And there's a reason why I'm doing this is because I want them to remove this card and tap out. Uh, and I want them specifically to do it on their turn so that we can collect a company. I'm not even going to play a land. I'm going to make it look like we're just we're just going at them with the, the lands. We're like we don't have anything in our hand. Most people can sniff this out uh, in paper. It's like he didn't play anything and we're just gonna we're just gonna bash him for three We're not gonna play a land and make it look like we don't have anything. All right That was an immediate passive priority. So he's got something That's okay. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and play this We're not gonna shock because then that tells that we have collected company for sure. We're just gonna sit here He's eventually gonna tap out he has to he has to play a card He's gonna you know do something board wipe us hit us with something what we could do is collected company on their turn and then collected company on our turn uh if we get them down to about 10 that's what i'm gonna do and here we go with another land all right he's pausing now he's thinking he don't know He's thinking here. I think he's I think he's got a removal spell. <laughs> Serious. We're not gonna now we're gonna do what I just said. I'm gonna if he delays absolutely nothing. Um mm, nah, because he's gonna untap. If he goes like his turn, he plays like Teferi. 
I'm just going to collect a company and then collect a company again. Because we know, especially if he minuses on General Kudro, then we know that this card is going to be what his card's going to be. We're playing a very dangerous game here, but this is what happens sometimes when you play against control decks. Does he minus? Spot. This is the question. Does he minus or plus? Pluses? All right. Let's skip to the good part. Hope he's got something good in his hand. Because he's about to, <laughs> about to take 10. Eleven, actually. I'm gonna collect a company main phase. If he doesn't do anything, uh, I'm gonna just force it into him, and I'm not gonna worry about Teferi. Because we, we theoretically have lethal. Cathar. He's either gonna counter this, uh, like negate Dovin's veto. Okay. Because he did the Dovin's veto, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the play tabs. We're gonna go to combat. I'm gonna put five on Kudro. We're gonna send the five at the ferry, and then everybody else is in on him. And we're just gonna we're just gonna keep pressuring him. Now he's got a supreme verdict. I mean, I'm sure he's got it. He's probably got Supreme Verdict. Okay, portable hole. Get rid of Thalia's Lieutenant. Okay. This is permanent. Destroy target creature. Oh, creature. And he can play Wandering Emperor. He can now, he can start making one ones to block with. Um, yeah, let's just send it. Put this one on the aspirant. We're just going to send it at him. Nine, yeah. He's got to have some. He's got something. He's not going to just have nothing. Probably going to play Wandering Emperor. Okay, no. Destroy target creature. Do we have anything that stops destroy target creature? Dauntless bodyguard destroys stops destroy target creature. How about a third collected company? You got a counter spell? He does. Okay. All right. Giving us a pressure here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shock this in, and then we are going to play Brutal Cathar. He is down to five. We have five on the board again. We've just been pressuring that life total. I mean, we're not out of the woods yet. He can still get into this game. I mean, he's about where he wants to be at. Fairy. I won't Does he bounce? I would think that he would bounce. I know he's drawing. You know what? I'm not down. Untap two. This puts him in Wandering Emperor range again. Which he still hasn't played. I, I, I thought that he had the Wandering Emperor like a turn or two ago and he hasn't done it yet uh we're gonna go ahead and draw card Ooh. Ooh. 
does that do it? We play an ascendant. We can get there. Games are going good, man. We're six and one right now. Hanging in there. How are you doing today, Elsewhere? Oh my god, you know what we can do? We're gonna play Thraven. Play Thalia. He's gonna counter it. He has to counter it. Because he can't play Wandering Emperor anymore. He has to do this. If he does counter it, we just play the, the Extraction Specialist and get it back. We played it first. Okay. He's gonna make the blocker. We knew he had it. We knew he was on it. Okay. Just underwhelming. So he's going to try to exile one of our creatures. He hasn't done anything yet. So we can put the other aspirant into play. And we can put... I can't put enough counters on everybody to kill him. Or can I? I can get rid of the Wandering Emperor. I think we just leave it alone. We just send it all at him. We make him we make him do his make him do his defense. He's gonna exile one of our creatures. He's gonna exile one. Because he gets to use it one time with the wandering emperor. Game two, lose one. My yeah. judgment is um, I think we may leave it here. Do we want to play the aspirant or not? We can plus on next turn for nothing or make a samurai. I think he's going to make a samurai. He's going to plus here. So he needs a board wipe to get out from underneath of us. Board wipe's going to cost him five mana. He's going to have four mana on the back. So he has to have Supreme Verdict in his hand or on the top of his deck or the next card on top of his deck because he gets two cards. Uh, and then, he, so he needs Supreme Verdict plus extra removal spell. Do we have a card that we can play? No. Let's just go ahead and play this. Probably should have played that first then. After thinking it through. After the thought process, I probably should have played that first. The Wandering Emperor is such a great card though. We knew he had it. He's been playing that four mana. I don't have anything. I don't have anything thing the entire game uh, since he had four mana. So we knew he had it. He 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 said that he had it f four turns ago. Uh, problem is, we didn't know if he if he'd flashed it in before, and he did figure out he had to flash it in before because the uh, Thalia stopped him. Um, had he done a counter spell like absorb. Uh, what we could have done is brought the extraction specialist to bring it back and that would have just that would have been it he can make two blockers here so he can make the one with a castle and then he can make the one with the wandering emperor sacrificing it so what he needs right now is a a another board wipe or another uh uh destroy target creature spell to, to stay in the game we are putting an amount a huge amount of pressure on him and if he does nothing this guy right here, the Brutal Cathar, is going to flip. And if he wants to target him, uh, he has to pay three life. And so that's going to put him in an even worse spot because we can put the Aspirant counter on it. And then now we can swing uh, to do the damage that way. Okay, here he goes. He's cycling. He's looking for He's looking for it. He needs help. Plays well, the land. Probably what he drew. The one thing that I, I'm not a big fan of on this game is, is if you if you put your mouse on top of something, uh, it lights up and lets the opponent know that like you you looked at it. And sometimes that can be uh, a, a good way to tell, like oh he's looking at this, he's looking at this, you know. And uh, I, I'm not a big fan of that. All right, we still can't play anything with our with our specialist here. Unfortunately, uh, so he can't do anything else. I, he could have another spell in hand. Uh, we're just going to swing at him. The fairy, uh, he's too far out of our range to do anything about. 
he's super low on life and we're just gonna have to put it into him like i don't want to but we can he can still block this and then keep this alive he's gonna plus anyway so it doesn't matter i mean he has to block and he has to remove a card uh the removal spell has to be two mana at instant speed to kill thalia is what i'm going to expect him to kill um and then we can play the extraction specialist to get thalia back we're just trying to play around the board wipe right now that's all so now we got this so now he has to actually target he has to target this card if he wants to target this card he has to pay three life so he actually can't remove this outside of a board wipe has to be a board wipe he has no other options for this card uh he can uh block it with the one one from the castle that's it okay so he put back the card put back thalia and did nothing okay um so he can block us for days here right now uh with the one one so we need to play this we have we have to put an extra card out there okay and because it's thraven inspector, thraven inspector we get to draw another card this we still have we still have room for collected company here too guys and we're we have played all the collected companies though another general general unfortunately is not enough right this second we got Thalia coming up next uh, I think we just swing I mean he's gonna block it either way with the 1-1 one, one. Um, I think we're just gonna take a swing at Teferi and see if he like wants to give Teferi up and play mana a uh, mana card without uh, using his castle give him the option if we play it this way he, he, he keeps Teferi and so he just automatically does the castle because he loses the game all right and this is why I wanted to play this so that we could uh exile I should have done it um that's all right Um, what we can do now is we can go here and um, pass the turn. We didn't, we've not had a single two drop. Um, this is a sideboarded. No, no, this is a sideboard game. Yeah, this is the main board. This is the main. This is the deck that I just recently made. All right. Let's see what he does. We can actually win the game here still if he taps out uh, the castle uh, and thinks he's fine behind the behind the head, uh, behind the seven seven. All right, we need more. We need a little. We need one more card. question is, is does he swing doesn't look like it looks like he is hiding behind that seven all right does guardian of thraben help us play thalia can't kill him yet we play general kudro and then we play Thalia. We can sack two tokens to kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. I think he stabilized. I think he got there. We need that. We need another collected company. We've already played three of them. Gave him too much time at the beginning of the game. This being lifelink, we can't stop it. And it's just going to let him draw extra cards every turn. Uh, we'll just tap out. Don't want to show him any more of the deck. Unfortunately, we, we he just he just happened to get there. Uh, bringing the freebooters, uh, bringing the valorous stances. 
I'm thinking I might bring in the the tireless tracker here. We'll drop uh, a couple of these, just ones ones of each one of them. Drop it a brutal cathar as well. Actually, we're gonna keep a third out of line. Drop no, I'll drop the third out of line. Uh, we need two more cards to take out here, or one more card to take out. Um, I think we can just drop a general Kudro and be okay with that. There's one of them. We got, we've got four lords, so, and we're going to get into their hand and we brought in some stuff to stop them from, uh, wiping the board. I'd like to bring in Tyler's tracker as a way to get back in the game too. I mean, I could get, I could drop an extra brutal Cathar for Tyler's tracker cause they're not going to have creatures, but they did show creatures. So uh, maybe maybe that's not the right way. We we do want to keep the brutal cathars in, uh, and and go that way. Uh, Champion of Paris, I do believe is in an arena. Yes, try like this. But it's not uh, it's not in Explorer. There's certain cards that are in Pioneer that aren't in Explorer. We were uh, having the discussion about. Um, Shrapnel Blast being one of those cards. It's not it's not in Explorer, but it is in Pioneer. So eventually it will be in Explorer because Explorer is gonna become Pioneer, I guess. Okay. Here's a hand. Let's go ahead and keep this. We can put enough pressure on him uh, to keep our little dudes around. We got a Valorous stance to also keep our our creatures around. And he mulligan down. Okay. He must be looking for some removal. He definitely can't just not have uh, cards. Because we can actually go one, two, and then play Dauntless Bodyguard. And because of our mana, we can have Dauntless Bodyguard on aspirant and then if he does do some kind of board wipe we can just valor his stance i don't think i will but uh put this on human start off with three inspector Here's our out of line, so that means we're gonna want this one to be a white. This one can be green, okay, so that's fine. Um, just go ahead and play this in as green. Play our aspirant. Get our plus one counter on our inspector. Swing in for two. Start that pressure. He's gonna need to remove things in, in response to us. Uh, once we play Dauntless Bodyguard, so. It might be attempting to. He might want to put this on the top of my deck or in my hand. Alright. As much as I'd like to play Adeline, we're going to go into the protection. Hmm. We'll play Adeline and then put protection on Adeline. This is before counter spells are open. We can destroy our creature. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose one damage here to try to get him to to use the abilities on one of these guys. Whatever he's got in his hand, we want him to play it on one of these guys. That's what I was worried about. I can play this. We're trying to make him play on his turn, not on our turn. That's what we're trying to do here. Okay. There's another Adeline. Um, and play Dauntless Bodyguard. See what he does. He can counterspell this. We'll still have Valorance. Valorez stance up. Okay. 
field in the graveyard. Here comes five. And we'll end the turn. And so now when he goes, if he goes to try to board wipe, we can actually um, Valorous stance our guy. This is what we planned. Creature gets indestructible. Keep our out of line around. Um, put this in the play on human. We will send it. For three. Uh, we'll pass the turn. Make it look like we got collected company. Even though we don't, uh, we can actually sack both of our treasures to draw two cards and start getting in, in, in front of him. If he goes to try to destroy the card, then we can actually just sack one. And we're going to leave the other two open, making it look like maybe we do have a removal or we have the Valorous stance again. Even though, again, we don't. Just look, there it was. So now if he tries to remove this, we can, uh, we actually do have Valorous stands open. All about playing around stuff. He's thinking. You know, does he want to counter this or does, what does he want to do? Does he want to give us another treasure token? I don't think he does. I don't think he wants to give us another treasure token. And I don't blame him either. I don't think that it's a spot that he wants to give away, give away treasure tokens. We will be swinging for five this time. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and shock this in. And we'll go to combat. Swinging for five. I know it says four right now, but when this comes in, oh, it's for six. I'm sorry. This is four, five, six. He can't take any more damage if he takes this. Creates a one, one. So he's probably going to block the Adeline, take two. Seems like a reasonable play. Okay. And uh, we'll pass the turn back to him. We still got our Valorous stance up. And we have treasure tokens, so we can sack a treasure token, draw a card, and then you know, keep our Valorous stance. Keep pressure on him. If he tries to... He's kind of at a spot where he needs to board wipe again. And that's what we want to do. We want to keep him on that. You got a board wipe. You got a board wipe. All right. I'm going to get rid of the inspector. Sure. You tap the castle. He does have Wandering Emperor mana open. But I don't think that that's good enough here. He doesn't get to get Adeline off of it. Ooh, wow. A King Darien plus Valorous stance. <laughs> plus Kite Sail Freebooter. I think we can just Kite Sail Freebooter. Take whatever card he's holding on to. And then if he's not, if he's not holding on to Wondering Emperor, like right now, we can King Darien and then beat him that way. We win both ways. This forces him to play it right now. Okay, there's the Wondering Emperor. We take whatever other card he's got. If it's a card that we can take, of course. Yep. We will go ahead and take that. Um, and then we can play. Let me make sure this kills him. He exiles a card that's tapped. That's not this one. Yes, this wins us in the game. Because when we attack, this is going to be for six. Here we go. All right. Can we pull it off one more time against the control deck? I feel like we were in a pretty good spot there, and I really like those Valorous stances. I think I'd like to bring in uh, a couple more of them here. I think I'm going to drop one more Guardian, and then I think I'm going to drop one more Brutal Cathar.
I'd like to bring in that other ad line. And I think I'm gonna draw up. I think I, this is really good though. A lot of these are <laughs> it's hard it's always hard to cut a card. Let me just leave it at the two. Do it like that. It's kinda how we had it. Alright, let's run it like this. I like the Adeline in this matchup because it just gets there, but if we have Adeline and then he plays like um the guy that had lifelink, the flyer lifelink 3 5, will be in trouble. Because he can just sit back and block it forever. Look at this, but in our hand. Uh, we can keep this, though. Looks like he mulligan. I, th I think they mulligan. Okay, there. I think they're keeping right now. Yep. And then they're down to six. All right. Good guy. Put this in the play tapped. I need to do anything with it. Play Aspirate on next turn. Adeline. Following turn. Um. Yeah, put this in as for humans. Definitely need to get some of those Valorous stances. Alright, there's sensor. It kind of sucks that he got to play that, but it does happen. Two or more lands. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in on white. I mean, we're kind of playing into some of his stuff, but we can't just not play cards. So we're kind of going to force him to have some of the removal spells that he's that he wants to that he wants against us. We got plenty of cards to play here. Actually, play an aspirant next turn and then draw a card. Might be what we do. Get the field of ruin. Okay. Actually doesn't do a whole lot against us. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play um, Raven Inspector. Let's see if they'll counter this, and then we'll play uh, we'll play the Luminar Aspirant. All right. Um, We're gonna get to draw a couple cards here, which is nice. Uh, I'm put this in the play. the aspirin off of us all right he doesn't ha he does have sinister sabotage up i think what we're gonna do here is i i would like to play the other ad line but i think it's best that we just hold back ad line until we make sure that we have a spot where we can kind of put it in there i mean have protection for it he did miss a land drop, which is important to notice because that means he's either holding uh, a bunch of counter spells or removal spells. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get in with the Thraben Inspector. I think I'm going to play the Brutal Cathar and then I'm going to save the rest of the mana to draw additional cards. Um, just in case if he plays... 
double sensor or something crazy here. Right. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just end the turn. Unfortunately, we weren't able to put enough pressure on him like we did last time. There's the Supreme Verdict. Um, yep. Nothing we could do there. This does give us us. This gives us a spot to play our Adeline. And there's our Dauntless Bodyguard to follow up with a Collected Company to follow up after that. So now we're in a spot where we're going to start pressuring him to do things. Because we can also um, sack this clue token in response to so now now we kind of got it where we want it we wanted to get out of line on the battlefield with protection so glad we didn't play that last time we played the brutal cathar instead he had to tap out for that so and we're just gonna we're just gonna not do anything i want him to think that we have valorous stance in our hand Swing him for five. He missed another land drop. Again, it's very important to notice that when he misses his land drops, that means he's got a bunch of spells in his hand. And because he hasn't really played anything, it does make me think, um, it does make me think that he's got like a fairy, uh, you know, wandering emperor, like those kind of spells in his hand currently. At this point, we can we can um, draw a card and collect a company on his instep. So if he does something big, tries to tap out to to get back into the game, because uh, he is behind right now. He, if he tries to tap out to like play to fairy to bounce, then we can we can sack the token, draw a card, collected company, bring back Adeline, and then we get to attack again. We do lose the ability to keep it alive with Dauntless Bodyguard. Uh, whether or not they see that, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and activate this. Keep our Adeline around. Go ahead and collect the company right now. Uh, we're going to bring in a Raven and... I'm sorry, uh... Alice Bodyguard and a uh, Kite Self Rebooter. Check his hand. Sinister Sabotage. Look at this. Baneslayer Angel sitting in the back corner. Uh, let's just go ahead and take the Sinister Sabotage. Draw a card. Draw land. Not the best, but. Alia. Alia's Lieutenant. Uh, let's see here. That makes it three, four, five. So this is going to get two counters, 10. And he's got a Bane Slayer Angel in hand. This is for 11. was for lethal that was the exact season. <laughs> I miscounted off the top with the victory here's the rank up moving up silver two moving up to silver two we may, we miscounted there because it was an extra counter on uh on them when the the other the other guy came in it was good good play right, here we go six and one today i believe i'm six and one if i'm not i'm seven and one should be six and one though pretty good starting hand we got a one drop two drop three drop four drop lots of value removal spell in the middle uh we're definitely keeping this hand the only bad part about this hand is is that when i play this card to name humans because i don't have another white source for this so they're gonna know they're gonna know right off the bat what is coming they got their cool black lotus sleeves. They are pretty cool looking though. I'll give them that. They are pretty cool looking. What is this? Alright. Jeskai is the colors. Yep. And play our Thalia's lieutenant. Pump our dude up. Get in. Get in for two.
Are they playing elementals? Is that what they're playing here? I think they might be. They're missing green if they're playing elementals. I've seen the four color elementals deck. Um, I haven't seen too many decks running triomes in them, so I, I'm not not 100% for sure what we're playing right now. Okay. They didn't play a creature. So we're not going to play Brutal Cathar. We're gonna actually going to save this. We're going to play the Aspirant. I'm going to put the counter, if it survives, on Thalia's Lieutenant. Okay. Here for five. playing white blue so then maybe they're playing some kind of just guy control is that what they're doing here oh there's the green cultivate okay i feel like if we draw a land yeah they're playing i think they're playing four color elementals i'm doing another three minute inspector here okay uh that's all right uh what we'll do is we're gonna play a three minute inspector We're gonna get another pump on our aspirant. We're gonna put this one, I believe, on the aspirant. Five, six, seven, eight. We'll put it on the aspirant, and then we're gonna go in. I'm gonna see if I can hit a land drop here. So we're gonna draw a card. I thought I used the tenant. Okay, that's alright. I mean, if they play a creature, we're gonna remove it. Okay, Golos, but that means they're just dead. They're dead on board. They're dead on board. Unless if this land is something crazy. There's no land. There's nothing that saves them. They don't have Glacial Chasm. Look at this. They play the World Tree. They just gave away what their deck does. Which is a bad idea because look we put five here and then they go two three four five so they're just dead i mean we're gonna do this just to make sure that there's no shenanigans but like that was just straight beat downs I, I, don't, I don't know what they were trying to do Oh wait, that was best of one. It shouldn't have been best of one. It should have been best of three. That's probably why we played that deck because uh, that wasn't uh, what it should have been. I, f I guess I didn't hit the best of three. Okay. Well, let's give it a go. The best of one there. I didn't mean to play that best of one. You got some free points. No. Oh. Oh, come on, deck. Come on, deck. This is a planes. Maybe. All right. We can keep this hand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw back the Godless Shrine. And we'll just play it like this. I really, really, really don't like playing. Uh, Dauntless Bodyguard by itself. Uh, so we're not going to. <laughs> it's not going to do it. Play red, red, white. Red, white. And he's got a trampling card. It's going to get bigger when he when he tramples with it, or when he does things with it. All right. Uh, I'm going to play the Aspirant. This is an this is a interesting matchup because uh, we haven't got to play against like a burn style matchup. And this is what this this is what this makes me think. I mean, red, white. This guy says anytime he casts an instant or sorcery, he gets a plus one plus one. This is a counter, so it stays there forever. Whenever you cast an instant of sorcery, plus two, plus two until the end of the turn. Okay. Swings for three. Uh, we're not going to block that one. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that on the chin. This is until the end of turn. 
Very cool. I think what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna play the Dauntless Cathar, eat the infantryman. We're gonna take two doing it. Uh, but this makes our guy a 3-3 as well. Gonna take that from him. Uh, make our guy bigger. Swing him. I actually think I should have put that on Brutal Cathar now I think about it, because he his creature's gonna get bigger. Okay. Yeah, because see, now he's going to get that plus one, plus the two. Yeah. And then he can make it Vigilance with the other card in his uh, graveyard. He's going to swing for five. Probably should have put it on the Cathar. I guess it doesn't matter because we wouldn't have blocked with it, so it's okay. Looks like we're going to take six. We didn't have any way to clear the board, so... We're just we're gonna we're gonna take a couple of these to the chin. That's normally how this is gonna work. Um This is A okay with me. Um play this is green. Uh we are gonna put this one on. I think we're gonna put this on the aspirin again. Make them both three threes. Swing six. He says no blocks. Um, we'll end the turn. Cast two spells. We're going to flip the moon range brute back we can exile again this is where it gets interesting because we actually can do that next turn and it seems like it'd be silly to attack but uh when you got collected company on the back as long as we don't whiff on the collected company we will have at least a blocker i'm curious why he picked that creature that instead of the other one the other one can attack Oh, well, I get it. Okay, he's trying to put a counter on it. That's what it is. This puts a counter on it. Got it. That's why. Ooh. He didn't even do anything. He didn't even attack us. All right. He sniffed out our collected company. <laughs> and it's a good thing that he did, too. He would have bade very bad for that because this would have uh, been a big card yeah 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 i can see you conceding that i understand i get it two things that we can uh do here we can actually bring in the valorous stance uh and the kite sail freebooter both are really good in this situation um we can drop a couple of these, like just one of of a couple of these cards. I don't know if Thalia's Lieutenant or Thalia Guardian of the Three Winds really doing a lot of work for us in this matchup. Uh, so I am going to drop one of them. I'll drop out a, a General Kudro. Um, and we're just kind of we, like a. This is what we've been doing for our sideboard option most of the time. We're just dropping like one of certain cards, bringing the Kite Self Rebooters, and then um, bringing in extra cards like Valor Stance or whatever we need. Uh, just kind of fill requirements that we're missing. Uh, I could drop Thalia completely uh, and bring in Valorous Stances uh, just in case if dude goes really big again. Uh, I don't know if that's quite the way that I want to do it because Thalia is an amazing blocker against this guy. And if we just kind of pump Thalia up a little bit, uh, the first strike damage is just too much for them to handle. Um, I do think Valorous Stance is probably better, though. And this does slow them down. Nah, this slows them down, too. I'll leave it like this, yeah. Just bring in two. We don't need all of them. Uh, we're also trying to steal things out of their hand with the Kite Cell Freebooters. Uh, if, if, they don't, if we play Kite Cell and they don't have very much stuff in their hand, then what I'll do is I'll drop the Kite Cells 
uh, two of them for the other two Valor stanzas, and we'll go that route. But I think I think this is fine. So here we are in that spot that I just mentioned. We got the Thalia. Ooh, nice. We got a one drop on turn one. Fantastic. I don't like playing Dauntless Bodyguard into nothing. This is going to allow us to block for days. This is block. He's got double strike. That's fine. Human. Again. Whenever it becomes a target, it connives. A double strike. Okay. Well, let's just hope that it doesn't become the target ever. It does have double strike, so we can't really attack. Um sure we can. We can we can attack. Because he can block and then he'll deal one damage to us and then we'll deal one damage to each other. This guy dies anyway. Ooh, feather the redeemed. Very good card. Valorous stance comes in. So what we're gonna do here is is um we're gonna play the Thar. And we're gonna take Feather. Um same plan as before. Let's take a swing. Um I'm just gonna hold back Thalia. We don't wanna, we're not gonna give Thalia away. Now the bad thing here is we actually can't play Valorous Stance yet. We don't have mana. All of our cards, even though they play colorless, or even though they play colored for our spells or for our creatures, they're actually not um, colored. Um, they're colorless. They only tap for color uh, for creatures of the type that we called, which is human. Uh, so as you see, Valor Stance is not colored right now, so we can't. It doesn't have that blue hue around it. We actually can't do anything with it. Um, what I am going to do here is I'm going to play General Kudro. Just gonna pump everybody up and then go for it. Take a swing. Maybe not with everybody. Uh, we'll just send in Thalia and, and Thraven Inspector. Because we can actually kill both of his creatures. Okay, he's gonna give it protection. And connive and make it bigger. Let's see if he knows how double strike works. I have first strike. So I also get he does get to do his little thing though. Because he's gonna make it protection from white, so. He made good blocks there. This is that. Unfortunate that uh we didn't have the mana to get rid of uh the Virtuoso. Gets his redeemer back. Ooh, no blocks. Hey, look, it's that card that he just killed. Again. Uh, we'll eat the gods willing, and we'll take the redeemer back. Um, turn the favorite inspector. I'm making him use his spells on on my turn, so it's not a huge problem. Okay, he's giving his guy trample. Now well, that's a problem. Uh, unfortunately, we just can't deal with the trample, and he is trying to push him to make him super huge. We need that white source so that we can um, use our valorous stance. Playing another feather. Here he's got trample double strike, so this is eight. This is just trample five six. We're gonna take a bunch of damage here. 
Um, we have a four here, three here, and then three here. We get rid of that. We're going to take five. He gets back the feather, but the feather dies because the legendary rule. Sure. It's not the. It's not exactly what we want to do, but uh, we'll do it. You need to get rid of the feathers, and this is a good way to do it. Because if we get rid of feather later, um, then if we get rid of feather later, and then that flips back over, he gets one back. So this way, he has to sack one. So you know, still missing out on that white mana. I think we're gonna play this. I think he might actually have us on this one. Depends on what he has in his hand. We can block him next turn, but we we're missing that mana. We need a, we need white mana. Because we need to be able to Valorous stance the 5-6. He comes back with the same guy. Okay. He can attack us for three in the air no matter what. So we're down to six. This other guy has trample as well. So like we can't just chump block him. I think this actually just kills us. This is an eight damage and we block it's not even enough. We don't even have enough to kill him. And if we block right here, we take four, seven. So I guess we're down to two. Just take it. Just down to two. If he if he pumps and we're dead anyway, it doesn't matter. But if he pumped, we're dead. Any, it didn't matter either way. Like if he can pump, it doesn't matter either way because he gets it back for feather. The way Feather works is that he gets to whatever he casts an instant or sorcery, it goes into his exile and he gets to cast it again the next turn, which then makes the infantryman huge. So it doesn't matter. So now we're in a spot where we need to kill the infantryman and the redeemer. Or we're just dead next turn. Um, and I don't see that happening. I don't know why he didn't do that to begin with. Um, do we have an out? I'll sack just to see. I don't think we do. Not for one mana. There's our mana right there. Um, but that doesn't matter anymore. Because even if we Valorous stance this, we still take three in the air. So let's go. Let's go to the next game. We just didn't. We didn't. We didn't hit our white mana. We needed it. We had that Valorous stance from the beginning. Now that we know that they're a feather deck, that's what they're actually doing. Um, they're not just a a random, like, a random, like, fighty kind of style deck that, that we thought they were in the first game where they're just trying to cast spells, make their dude bigger. They're actually a feather deck. Um, we're going to need to put a little bit more emphasis on taking care of those spells. Uh, so Valorous Stance is definitely going to come in. Um, I believe we can drop out uh, one of the Thrabens. And then I think I'm going to drop out. I think I'm going to drop out one of these. To be honest with you, I want to kind of bring in all of the Thalias at this point to like limit them from being able to cast their spells. Because they have trample on a lot of their stuff. I feel like Dauntless Cathar isn't as good. Um... So maybe we'll just bring in another Thalia. We'll do it like that. Try to put as much pressure on them as possible for those spells. We're also on the play this time. Can we get it done? All right, we got one drop, two drop, three drop, removal spell, but we're still missing the white source for removal spell, but that's okay. 
I think this is fine. Definitely a keepable hand. All yell on two is going to slow their spells down. So they can't just do like what they were doing in that game where they're casting like two, three spells a turn. Can't do it. They won't, they won't have the mana for it. Sure. Selected company. attack first it didn't really matter i guess so double striker there's our there's our white source in our green source uh we're gonna go ahead and take the action here take two we're gonna play our kudro swing it for five That's all she wrote. Getting that rank up. Silver one. We made it, boys. Silver one. Continuing our climb. Let's see what our opponent's doing again. Playing this abs and humans list. This is not a bad starting hand. I don't. I mentioned this a bunch of times. I really don't like playing Dauntless Bodyguard for no value. I also don't like playing Thaliga's Lieutenant for no value. Um, we are going to play the Lieutenant one, two. I do want to see what they're doing. Um, hopefully it's nothing too bad. playing black they mulligan down hmm I think I'm just gonna put this into play untapped or in, into play tapped and then and walk we'll, we'll wait for the next turn and do it Ooh, we're playing against Rakdos the old Rakdos Sakdos okay um saving some life total here because I don't know exactly what they're gonna be doing uh, I'm going to play this forest and then we'll play Thalia. I'm going to try to mess with him. He can't even attack me right now. Unless he does something crazy. Trespasser. Not a big deal. Does he know what first strike does? Oh, he's going to kill it. Okay. Just wondering. Thank you, sure. You never know. Sometimes they don't know what it does. Um, You know, he thinks it's funny. He did that. He's like, haha, sorry, I got you. Watch this. I'm gonna bring Thalia back. I can do that too. Oops. <laughs> I normally don't emote it, guys. I normally don't emote, but he made me. I had to do it. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Look at him go. Look at him go. This says you can tap him, sacrifice him. It's minus X, minus X, where X is the number of blood tokens you control. He's got three, so he can give something minus three, minus three. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Brutal Cathar, get rid of one of them. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and take this action and then we're going to put the Dauntless bodyguard on, um, on the Brutal Cathar. And we'll send this guy in. We'll trade. Do some trades action. Oh, All right. Get that lifelink damage in. Get our lifelink back. It's okay that he did this. I wanted him to kind of do it on the Cathar 
versus doing it on the Thalia, but we're gonna try to outpace him with the Thalia's lieutenant. I'm gonna eat my Cathar, sure. Yep. Sure. Uh, no blocks. Let's take three. We traded three damage for three damage. We also have Life Link, so it's kind of like it didn't do any damage. All right. I'm gonna draw a new card. Is he gonna do it again? See, we can play this now without uh, worry because he can't actually kill it with uh, the blood tokens. He doesn't have enough of them. Wait, so we're gonna go ahead and just play Lieutenant. We could have done this backwards. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that he was gonna play something right there, but he didn't. Um, cause I was gonna try to protect this cause he's keeping whatever he's got in his hand. Um, so we're just gonna do it. We, we're just gonna do it the other way. I wanted, I wanted to get the plus one counter on this, but okay, he's done. I did it intentionally, unintentionally. So, uh, he's probably gonna be playing Fable the Mirror Breaker somewhere in this deck. We're gonna bring in the our old boys and we're gonna do the same old same old uh for our sideboard action i think tireless tracker will be pretty good in this matchup because this is typically a grindy one um i don't know if i want to keep uh thalia in the guardian of the raven I also don't know if I want to bring in uh, the Outland Liberator. Because mm. that can also get rid of his artifacts and stuff like that. We haven't seen anything yet, so I think I'm okay running it back like this. I kind of I kinda don't want to keep um, all in though so i'm going to actually drop Thalia and i'm going to bring in i'm going to bring in one of each we'll run it like this we'll run it like this i don't think Thalia does as much work in this matchup it does slow them down but they're they're on the play where we're on the draw um this is fine um they're gonna get their cards out before we can play Thalia anyway so it's kind of like you know you, you gotta take that you gotta decide do you want to keep keep it the way it is or try to play through okay he's got double red dinner the bugbear um we'll play this Let's see if he's got a removal spell he might have something got brain. sure Okay, go ahead and eat him. Yep. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to play Tireless Tracker. Uh oh. Oh no, we crashed. Oh no, we crashed. He's cheating. Let's get back in there. Here we go. We're loading back in. We open the game back up. I think we missed the turn. Um. Okay. No, we didn't. Um. Uh, let's play Tire Striker. I thought we missed a turn there. Got a collected company. Let's 
Sending it in. Yeah, we're good with that. It blocks. Good chance he has a removal spell here. When we figure something like this, uh, we'll just go ahead and play the Brutal Cathar. We can get rid of that. Send it back toward him. He's going to need to get rid of the Brutal Cathar. I'm sure he's got removal spells. Uh, but it's... Is the, are they in his hand? He's only got three cards. And he looks like he's swinging six at us. Okay. But he doesn't... He's, he doesn't really have any action. Take six. All right, so we got our guy back. Flipped him over. His guy's flipped over as well. You we can play the general and swing for eight. You can try to collect a company and get him on that as well. This lets us draw a card. Doing it this way, we can we can draw a card if we play Kudro. I think, we're, I think the best way to get in here is to do the collective company. All right, so here we go. We'll go bam and bam. We kind of got the Kudra effect anyway that we wanted. Now we're going to be swinging for 10. Now he needs a lot to get in, get out of this. For six, gonna eat a card. He swings for a four. I mean, I don't see a real re big reason to not just take this. I don't think that he can kill me. Four damage. I think we're just gonna block just take the safe i don't know if he can kill me i don't know why he would swing so i'm gonna guess he has something deal one damage to it or deal damage ah see here we go choose evens or odds so three 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 sure it's gonna be for odds So let's play our Liberator. Play Kudo. Um, this is the play tapped. No tax. So on our turn, we're gonna have to get rid of it. Oh, we can't. He already killed it. I guess I should have just waited then. That's menace. Oh, yeah. Um. Take three. I don't 
don't think that we're getting out of this one. I think that, I think that he was just able to get there. Children's pretty hard to beat. Yeah, he does. That kills us anyway. We don't have a card in hand. All right. We're on the play this time. I don't think Outland Liberator is where we need to be at. We'll bring in another Talus Tracker. Uh, we do like to see the Valorous stances here, so I think I'm going to drop a couple of other cards. He lands another Shield Root or a Kruxa. Uh, we did see the Kruxa, but we also have a ways to eat the graveyard anyway. Kind of already built into the deck. Uh, so we can kind of keep Krux off the board, so I don't think Unlicensed Hearst is needed. Let's bring in the Valorous stances. Let's see if we can take him down. We got a Valorous stance. We got a pretty decent hand here. And keep this. I don't particularly like playing this, uh, like I said, for no value, but we also have this in our hand, so we can always bring it back. We don't get away from Fatal Push either way. It kills everything in our deck, so. It is what it is sometimes. You gotta, you gotta play them. Yeah, General Kudo. Kudo. Braid. Sure. Unfortunately, there's only so much that we can do when it comes to stuff like that. So, um, go ahead and play our three drop here. Bring back our Thalia. Unless he's going to exile it. Removal spell after removal spell. Lead us. Play this. Now we're starting to get in there, guys. Starting to get in there. Battling back and forth here. Removal spell for removal spell. We are hanging in. Three all. We have the fourth card in that graveyard that we can't get to. Here we go. We're playing it. We do have the Brutal Cathar. And we just drew another one. Go ahead and play the Brutal Cathar. Swinging in for four. All right. I can block the three, but Inspector for free. There we go. Still in for three. What will he do now? We need another land so we can start doing collected companies. To start running running away with the game before he gets into the before he starts getting into the game he's looking at my graveyard what do you see over there friend i don't know what he's gonna what he would he's, maybe he's gonna resurrect something from there or eat something from there he did nothing that's odd go ahead and play the same old show we did last time um, come in and it is dark. That's unfortunate. All right, we'll do go ahead and trade the Thalia's Lieutenant. Bring him back something from his graveyard. To his hand. Okay. Kalidus. Chandra. He has to pay three life to kill my Moon Rage brute. And he did. It's playtime. Hey, we got our land now, finally.
Like collected company. We're just gonna let him kind of do what he's gonna this do. Brooks, though. Exile already. Um, not exactly what we want to discard uh, against the Cruxa deck. Playing Cletus again. Sure. And play Collected Company. All right. We'll do Brutal Cathar and Ollie is the Lieutenant. And eat that. Play another one. Check his hand. Play this card here. I guess odds and evens card. Combat. Um, we'll put the Cathar at Chandra. Lieutenant in the face. And this will go to the face too. This is a waste of my time. Go ahead and put this into play tap because he's going to make me discard it when he plays Crux. If he plays Crux, I'm going to assume he's going to play Crux. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know why he wouldn't. Yep, he's looking at it right now. He can play both the cards in his hand. Uh, the Cruxa and the other guy in his hand. Yep. Harvester. Sure. Drill land. See what else we get? Draw another card. Another collected company? Nope. All right. Hmm. He can't sack his dude just yet. So we can send in Adeline and get away with that attack. Gonna make six, six, four. See, he's got to trade his six, six for it. Okay, he's gonna take six, seven. I guess maybe I should have swung out too conservative again down to one um okay kill the kite sail and then he's gonna play that for three exile everything for three this dude's back Yep, I misplayed on that last one. I should attack with everything. I messed that up. We're going to lose the game now. Pretty confident the game's over. If we can get a collected company off the top, then maybe we can still be in it. Pilish tracker. We swing for five. Swing for six. Play the swing for six. He sacks. That guy can't do that yet. He's got summoning sickness. So he just double blocks. Kill it anyway. And then we die. No, he can't double block. Okay. Yeah, he can. He can double block and survive. This way, we have to block Cruxa with Tireless Tracker. Yeah, we lost. He he already went over the hive eye, the eye, so we're just dead. If he removes it, we're dead. I misplayed that so hard, so bad, so bad. I let him back in the game. I can't block this. Can't block this. I have to block this. I take three here. That was awful. I'm so sorry, guys. I lost that one for us. Jeez.